Hello guys, so it is officially packing day for New York um, because we leave in the morning and I need to show you this mess because it is crazy and I still have no idea what I'm taking, it's stressful, I'm still waiting for some more packages to come today, um, so yeah, I will show you the crazy mess and me trying to pack stuff, um, so I'll put you down and let you see. So I've just placed you there but this is the chaos that is going on right now. Um, there's a lot of clothes everywhere, different style of clothes. So I really quite like this pink um, fluffy jacket. I think it's very bougie. Um, and this was from uh, Ginny London on, on New Look. Um, so I quite like that, I feel like it's very cool vibes. Um, love even more so this red, dark red fluffy jacket um, from River Island. So nice, so I'm gonna definitely take this with me. They're in New York vibe. Um, and obviously lots and lots of thermals from M&S, their heat tech stuff. Um, so yeah, I am, that is just something I'm going to have to battle with today to try and pack. Um, which is going to be a lot, but also do you like my new hat? Hang on, let me show you. I need to take the sewing bit out of it, but how cute is this for NYC? Love it um and i also got this off vinted um and i thought you know what i'm gonna treat myself to this makeup bag it's dior i love it um <laughs> and it's finally come from vinted i didn't realize how small it was it's so tiny i don't oh i don't know how to put this into perspective how tiny this is like uh, it is it's is small it is very very small like that's my entire hand that's how small it is like it's a tiny little bag but it's cute <laughs> but yeah i don't know how much i'm gonna fit in that to be honest <laughs> probably got a bit con there haven't i but oh well um so yeah let's get packing because we've got lots to do Hello, okay, excuse the way I'm looking right now. I'm absolutely knackered and I feel like I've not got anywhere, although I probably have done quite a bit because I basically I've organised everything that I'm going to take with me, like outfits piled up um, in the little landing area. And yeah, I need to look at all the mess behind me. It's just chaos. It's really, really chaos and it's just been real. Um, but now I'm on to the packing section with the packing cube. So these packing cubes I got from B&M last year. I've used them to death. Um, they've been really good to be fair. I'd, I'd probably need to get some uh, new ones, but they're doing me for now. So just about to pack everything up. I need to still sort that, what's on that chair. And then I'm done, hopefully. <laughs> I always feel like I forget something though. So hopefully I've not. Um, but yeah, I've wiped my suitcase down. And now I just need to pack the packing cubes and then, yeah, hopefully I can help Dan pack his stuff when he finishes work. So this is an absolute struggle. I've already got heavy, full hand luggage. And now I'm trying to squeeze everything in here, but... <laughs> I just don't want to break my suitcase. I hope, I need to weigh it. If it's over, I'm going to have to take things out again. Oh, I didn't pack my hair straighteners. Oh, we'll have to use Dan's case, it's fine. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, is it a little bit? Yeah, it's just a bit. Come on. Okay. Oh, she's done it. Let's try to lift this bugger. Oh. Fucking hell yeah, it's gonna be over that, isn't it? That's definitely going to be over. Because damn, that is heavy. Let's see what that is going to be like. <laughs> Good morning. Um, I am starting this on our way to the airport to go to New York. Um, half asleep. Don't drive my car. Are you excited? Yes. Are you excited? Well, not asleep. Yeah. I am excited. Just going to where? Oh, it's a good time. So we're going to see that. Yeah, we are 
tired but excited and we're gonna go to Manchester. We've set off a, um, a bit late, um, but hopefully we'll get there on time. We've got about an hour to go, um, and our flight leaves at 12 um, to London. And then we're gonna get it from London to JFK. So I thought I'd take you guys along with me for the journey to New York. We are now just waiting for our transfer from Manchester <laughs> to Heathrow. Um, so we found a little quiet spot because it's awful at Manchester Airport, isn't it? It's really Absolutely heaving. And now. Spent 30 quid on the worst breakfast they've ever had. Yeah, it wasn't great. It was a Weatherspoons and it wasn't great. Anyway. Yeah, it was quite warm. Yeah. Well, no. I don't think so. I think it's one of their own things. Not quite warm for some reason. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're just waiting in a random little gate area for 10 minutes before our gate comes up and then we'll set off. Because it was quiet. Really yeah, we found a nice little quiet spot and now it's getting round down here, which is great. So yeah, I'll catch up with you when we're on the flight. Our flight was delayed and we barely made the connection, which we didn't. So instead they put us on a flight to um, Newark, which is fine, it works out alright because it's like 10 minutes earlier anyway um, to get to the hotel. Um, but it's to be bougie and upgrades to business because you know what, I've had rubbish, rubbish travel day so I thought I'm going to upgrade us so and it wasn't too bad actually for both of us compared to if you booked it originally so I just thought okay, I'm going to do it so yeah, we're now in business as dog well, getting our drinks thank you I just want to document this on YouTube of us being in business class something that I didn't think I would be in the first lounge and Dan's just scrunning <laughs> it's just scrubbing up food. Um, I'm a deferred up blaming. I'm just drinking to like settle myself after the anxiety induced day of travelling. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go in 10 minutes to our flight. Have some sweets, have some sugar, and have some drinks. It can't go wrong. But I'm excited to see what um, what it's gonna be like. I'm excited. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> gonna fully recline, go to sleep. <laughs> Wake up in New York. have arrived and I couldn't wait to show you this room look at this in the dark this is absolutely insane this is like New York in a room like the beds there and you're just looking at all of this how amazing so this is the um, sky room king size sky room I'll just try and step back a bit. How incredible is that view? Wow. Well, hello, it is night number one officially. It's Friday night that we've arrived. Um, I've got all dolled up in my red sparkly dress. It's got this light on. Um, because we're gonna go to Times Square and we're gonna shoot this outfit. Um, um, hopefully it's not going to be too cold and go exploring a little bit before we head on out. We are on our way to Times Square in New York. <laughs> this is crazy. I keep going. The way <laughs> We have got to Times Square. There it is behind Hannah's us. Just been very brave. I've been very brave. I've had my red sparkly dress on that show, you know, shooting it in front of everyone. And now the camera's down. Yeah. I've managed to get some shots on my phone and I'm a camera. Did you no. Oh. You said you'd pack it. What you did? Oh. Maybe survival. Like <laughs> um but yeah, this is 
Town Square behind That's us. That's my head. Yeah. I'll show you more properly, but I just thought I'd come on and say hi. I'm taller. Hold on. <laughs> Great shot. There you go. The chaos of Times Square. Ticked off the bucket list. It's so hard to explain it without the it, It's like... It's I thought, was in a, right. I thought it was in a movie when I first seen yeah, it. Weird. Does it feel like that? Yeah. Sensory overload. So much to look at, it's chaos, but must experience. Sends me the optimism scale. <laughs> <laughs> On the top of the steps. Called this moment eating pizza, Joe's pizza in bed yeah, with this view. One o'clock in the morning. One o'clock in the morning. What time is it at okay. Insane. I could just stare at this view forever. It's bang on one o'clock in the morning. Doing it right? Hmm? Doing it right? Doing it right. Central Park, walking around, and does anyone recognise these famous steps? God, it's busy today. John Wick. John Wick, but also a Gossip Girl. That's where Chuck and Blair got married, down here. I'll show you in a second, when we get down there. Look how pretty it is. This is where they got married, right in the middle of here. Very cool. That was where Gossip Girl happened. And John Wick. And John Wick. And I think, I might be wrong. Maybe it's a smaller fountain actually. I don't know if it's that I one. It's I could be wrong, but I feel like that could be the friend's fountain in front of us. Or it might be a different one. I don't know. Either way, that's small? where Gossip Girl was. Huh? Small. I don't know. It looks similar though. So Dan's just told me an um, interesting but scary fact. Do you want to divulging that fact I don't want to wait a moment for yeah. passers by he's gonna wait until people pass by <laughs> and then you can and then you can tell him okay. what you told me <laughs> are you ready okay. what a pass um, so I told Hannah that um, all these red flags here were all the red flags if you can see them everywhere yeah. um, I told Hannah that's where people have died before, but she's just really gullible, so... Are you lying? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> oh my god, Dad. You probably had me leg then. <laughs> Little shit. <laughs> I actually full on believed you as well. <laughs> we found the famous photography slash engagement spot. <laughs> Um, in Central Park. It's really, really pretty. Hang on, let me show you and turn you around. Look at that. It's just an incredible view of... I don't even know what... I feel like that's a hotel, actually. The famous hotel, but I can't remember the name of it. And it's just a random little boat <laughs> waddling around, but it's cute. Yeah, yeah, there's a nice claim there. If I went through, she set the line. <laughs> That's so cool. That's crazy. Look what we're on right now. <laughs> Draw me on me, jump on Don't do that. Oh my god, this is wild. It's all the way down to the street. Oh this my god. Cool. Look at the view on this rooftop at the Isle of Nomad, it is absolutely 
insanely beautiful. Oh my god. I can't believe it. Yeah, that is um, insanely big. I'm gonna eat my tea now. <laughs> Good morning. It is day number two in New York and we're gonna to go to one Vanderbilt summit. Very excited to see this observation deck, it's meant to be amazing. Um so I'll take you along with us and see what it's like. Um it's a lot quieter, which is nice today because yesterday it was hell on earth because apparently it happens every year that only New Yorkers really know about, which is Santa Con and the streets are just you can't move, it's just crazy and everyone's dressed up as on there. Basically. Basically doing massive bar for. Um, so yeah, we couldn't move yesterday, I got a bit stressed out. But it was a Saturday as well, so nice yeah. Sunday morning stroll. Oh, yeah, and had some early tea and stuff, so sometimes you just gotta be done on it. But yeah, just heading on the way. Bye. Please start the journey to your right. Ready, Dan? Whoa. Look at this. There's Bright Park Christmas Market down there. Look at that. Mental. <laughs> A bit windy up here. Dan's got a corn dog. <laughs> and we're just at Bryant Park. Christmas <laughs> market. Huh? Christmas market, Bryant Park. Is that good? <laughs> Might get a donut. <laughs> Currently very, very jet lagged. Dan's dragged me out for food because I'm like half asleep. But we're in a supermarket. And it amazes me how everything's got like shut doors to it basically. And um, we're gonna get a drink to be back to the hotel room and get some like gummy sweets or something. Very tired. Uh, it's so weird. I love going into like um, another country supermarket to like truly experience it. Um, yeah, my brain's not working, I'm so tired. <laughs> On our way now to World Trade 9 11 Museum. It's cold. Um, it's very, very cold. I've got my scarf on. It's work because yesterday it was like 15 degrees. You can't keep up with the weather. Like it's everyone asks how what, what the weather's like in New York. You can't really say one day it's freezing and another it's really quite warm. 
Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I think there's actually a girl from Wales um, who lives in New York and she has a TikTok account and it's grown massively because she does weather reports every day what it's like in New York because it changes so much. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh, that's cute. A little wine bar. I'm Tribeca currently, if I haven't said. I've just been to Bubby's. Um, some pancakes and yeah, now we're walking towards um, the financial sort of district where uh, the memorial is. So yeah, I'm going to head on there now. I thought I would record this because Dan's very excited. <laughs> He's finally getting his Chick fil A. So we're in the, in the uh, famous Chick fil A that Dan's recommended. Look how excited he is. <laughs> I'm staring at all the food. Let's see what the hype is about. So we've just come up to the rooftop of the Ludlow Hotel that we're staying at. Again, it's such a hidden gem. We're like, wow, it's like a 360 view of the skyline of New York. And I'll just show you in the next clip. Just look at that. Oh my God, on 0.5 zoom, it really shows it. You can see Brooklyn Bridge right over there. Oh my God, this is just insane. Wow. Yeah. All the way even down there, like it's just amazing this rooftop. What do you think? It's crazy. <laughs> Good morning. It is 7.15 a.m. New York time. We're currently on our way to Dumbo and Brooklyn Bridge. Just trying to get there super early because I know it gets very busy busy on that famous Washington Street, so We'll see how it goes. Wow. Just on Brooklyn Bridge or is this Manhattan Bridge? Oh. I don't know, I can't remember. On the famous bridge anyway that everyone walks across. There we go. Look at that. You can see Statue of Liberty all the way over there. Wow, I can't go too. What do you think? Swept, but it is our last night and we're coming to Serafina's which is just a little Italian near the restaurant because we're really tired so we were like near the restaurant what? Restaurant. little restaurant oh, what you said near the restaurant a <laughs> uh, little restaurant near uh, the hotel because we're tired and spot we'll just have this so I've got the vodka pasta so I've never tried vodka pasta I can't really taste vodka but it's nice and the dung ball what did you get? Gotcha. 
And his favorite. spending our last night in New York looking coming to Target because Dan um, almost broke his case and he needs a hand luggage case because we've got too much stuff and we think it's going to be too heavy for when we weigh in tomorrow at the airport um, so yeah we're off to Target to go buy a cheap hand luggage case <laughs> um, because Dan didn't take hand luggage with him although I said you could do um, he only took a big case, even though he had a handful of good allowance as well. He always <laughs> so yeah, that's what currently um, we're going to have to go do, is go and get some hand luggage, some, get one hand luggage case, cheap as possible, from Target, go back and pack. Target shopping. <laughs> Dan's found a suitcase. How much is it? $90. <sighs> Did tell him. They brought hand luggage. <laughs> The American sweets. Oh, they don't work. So, uh, we did have milk duds uh, the other night, and they were actually really nice, weren't they? I quite like the milk duds. Um, I did like this Jolly Ranchers like gummies, but I can't see them. Hmm. If I could, I would take this home with me for my first. How nice is that? You don't get like stuff that's not nice in England. Oh, look at that. Thought I would show you the room before we say goodbye to it. Um, this is the little bedroom area, little seating area. You've got cupboard in there and a free brolly to use in case it rains safe and everything and then this is the amazing view you see when you wake up on a morning which is incredible look at that on a night it's even better um got a tv there dan's just getting ready to leave have you enjoyed it here i have it's a good view and then the best part in my opinion is the bathroom so this is it how it's been Look at this. Hang on, let me open these because it kind of spoils it one second. Ta-da! <laughs> Look at that view. As you have, I had a shower this morning as the sun was rising and it was just incredible. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to miss this bathroom. Taking full interior inspo from it for our house. Literally wearing everything I came in because we're checking out today um but yeah off out to go find some food see the statue of liberty before heading home bye room So on our final day, we've come to Greenwich Village um, to check out the famous Sex in the City hotspot. I think it's just here. Oh yeah, I'll show you. There it is. There's the classic chain that you're not allowed to sit on the steps and you've got to be quiet. Oh, hang on, let me zoom out. There you go. There's the famous apartment. Dan's down there though. Let's go back to him. 
so that was the famous apartment, although it stinks of sick around here, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Proper stinks of sick. Never watched it. Don't know who it is. I've only watched the movie to be fair, I've never watched the series, but um, apparently got to see it, so we've seen it now. We are ending our trip by walking on the High Line. It's cold up here. It is very cold, but it's still it's really quite quiet. Yeah. I think. And I could tell we've eaten a lot. Because I feel so unfit. But out of breath. I feel very really heavy. <laughs> no, French toast this morning, so I'm like feeling six and a half. Still heavier. Aren't we? Yeah. <sighs> but then I got all like the old railroad tracks and stuff. It's very cool. Yeah. So yeah. And the sun's out, which is good. Oh, getting his warm a little bit. Not yet. <laughs> We're dead. It's been a good trip. Very tired. Everywhere hurts. I think we've done. We've clocked. Um, Not including today, about 35 miles. 35 miles from yesterday, so I've done more today, obviously. And yeah. Hold on, I had the screenshot from the steps. I'm so tired. I feel like I'm definitely going to sleep on the plane. My hair's all over, but we need to sleep anyway because when we get back to England, it's going to be like 8 a.m. Um, so we need to kind of fight the jet lag by sleeping on the plane. Um, so hopefully it works out. We did 82,000 steps. All in all, since yesterday. Oh dear. In what, four days? Yeah. Look at my hair. So knackered. Absolutely shattered. I need to get home, get cuddled with honey, and do you know what? Have a takeaway, then a detox. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, New York, it's been a good one. Nice. Um, I'm going to end this video here because I'll probably trip forget. For the year. Yeah. So I'll forget to vlog otherwise because we're just knackered but thanks for joining us on our little New York trip and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. Peace out.